What is up guys, this is Lintio, coming at you with a card discussion today about something that is just so dumb. It is one of the new blue eyes that are coming out for the movie, and it is a ritual blue eyes. It is the first blue eyes white dragon that is a ritual. Obviously there is blue eyes white paladin and all those, but they don't really count because they're more spin-offs. This is a solid blue eyes. So it is called Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. It is a level eight dark dragon. The first blue eyes that's a dark, by the way. With 4,000 attack and zero defense and its effect reads as follows. You can ritual summon this card with Chaos Four. Must be ritual summoned and cannot be special summoned by any other ways. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict double piercing battle damage to your opponent. What? This card is just so good. As far as I'm aware, the film doesn't have advanced ritual art. And advanced ritual art recently went to three because you can basically just put three of this, three advanced ritual art, and three manju into a blue eyes deck if you so wish. Lo and behold, you have a ridiculous monster that can just destroy your opponent. All you need to do is just advance ritual art, send a normal vanilla blue eyes to the graveyard to summon it. This card gets advanced ritual art limited or hit in any way on the ban list, I'm going to be angry. But I digress, let's look at the effect. So it can be ritual summoned with chaos form, so that just means that you can ritual summon it any other way. You can't special summon it though, so fair enough. It cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. This card is dumb. This is the definition of a game ending wrecking ball because it cannot be targeted and it cannot be destroyed. Those bottomlesses, not a chance. Compulsory evacuation device, get out of here. Dart destroyer, uh-uh. Not only that, when it attacks a defense position monster, it can inflict piercing, but then it does double. So you have a double fairy meteor crush on your opponent. What is this? Why is that fair? Personally, I really like it. I think it's a really cool card and uh, I would love to see it over here because it would just shake up so many people. It would scare people so much. However, there are outs to this card. Endless Trap Hole is a new one that has come out that can basically stop this card. Then you also have things like Quaking Mirror Force and the new Rippling Mirror Force that's gonna be coming out in the next set. They don't target and they get rid of them. And if you do Rippling Mirror Force or Endless Trap Hole this card, Gets flipped down, zero defense, ain't difficult to get over. Overall, it's a really nice card. It's basically a game ending card and can end games on its own, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. I really like it, it looks awesome. It looks absolutely sick. The fact it's a dark as well is nice because otherwise if this was a light, you attacked a defense position monster and then did honest. But I digress, that is a little bit ridiculous. So I'm kind of glad this is a dark. <laughs> But it does kind of give some spoilers away as to how this gets beat in the film. But I'll leave you to decide that and I won't give my opinion on the spoilers. So I want to know what you guys think of this Blue-Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Do you think it is an amazing ritual? Or do you just think that it's more of a win more game ender card that won't really be used all that much if it is indeed released? So as I said, let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to give me a like, comment, subscribe. And I should catch you guys later.